Good morning. It is Monday. That means it is Gratitude Monday. And I am very, very thankful today for three key relationships. First of all, I am thankful for my relationship with Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And yesterday, I was so grateful to be able to go to First Christian Church, where I attend service and worship freely in a country that allows me to practice religious freedom. But I'm grateful for my relationship with Christ because I would not be where I am today if I had not, I guess, been born again, so to speak. Um, In 2000, I was baptized and so many things have happened in the past 20 years that um, I'm just very, very grateful. So many positive things have happened in my life and I know that that is because I am trying my best to walk alongside Jesus and sometimes he's got to carry me a little bit, but just do my best to line a line my life with the goals and the principles of the Bible. The second key relationship is my relationship with my husband. And you know, if you've ever if you're married, you know exactly what I'm talking about that every marriage has some ups and downs. It's not it's not a perfect love story or a fairy tale where you get married and you live happily ever after. There are tough times and there are amazing times and there are moments of um just having to walk through the muck of life together. And I am thankful that I have a husband who is such a hard worker. He doesn't complain. And even though he's, you know, working third shift and on another job, working two jobs, um, he's just such an inspiration to me. Good morning, Nancy. Thanks for tuning in. He's such an inspiration to me and he's such an encourager. He's just steadfast. If anybody knows my husband, they know he's neither up and he's neither down. He's kind of like this flat line um, in a very, very good way because he keeps me calm when I tend to be a little up and down and kind Kind of all over the place, but I'm so I'm very very thankful for my husband, and then my third key relationship is my daughters. Now they're only ten and nine, and I know what some of you may be thinking is like, are you best friends with your kids? Are you um, aren't you their mom? How can you have this you know count that as a key relationship? It's a key relationship to me because I get to watch them grow. And sometimes I get to watch them reflect back to me, me, which sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's not such a good thing, but it's really cool to be able to see how my husband and I have been able to parent them, how we've been able to have teachable moments, how Jesus is working in their life and teaching us through them and just the perspective that they give and and keeping things a little bit too real sometimes. But my relationships with my daughters is key because I have this huge responsibility and sometimes I feel it more days than others, but I have this huge responsibility to teach them and to help them grow up to be independent, young, thriving women. And some days it's a little frustrating, I admit, and some days it is just rewarding exponentially. But I am grateful for these three key relationships. My relationship, number one, with Jesus Christ. My relationship, number two, with my husband, who we walk through life together, thick and thin, good and bad, through the muck and through the celebrations. (laughs) And my relationships with my daughter, my daughters, because just watching them grow, watching them teach me a few things and being able to teach them and then watch them experience what to do with those lessons is so important. And they don't listen all the time. They're not perfect, but neither am I. And it's okay. We get through things. So 
Those three key relationships is my focus today on Gratitude Monday. What is your focus? What are you most thankful for? What relationships in your life are key to you? I look forward to seeing your comments. Have a blessed day. Thanks.